The concepts behind SEED represent the biggest breakthrough in data archiving that I've seen in my career. We are making inroads on several fronts simultaneously. We have technical capabilities now that didn't exist five years ago. We have more bandwidth and better ways to transport data, as well as multiple very inexpensive sources for storage. The explosion of social media presents opportunities we didn't have before. Using social media will allow others with an interest in data to make small contributions. As the community grows, they will contribute to better access and understanding of the data. We're planning to take full advantage of the self-organizing mechanisms of scientific communities, enabled by social media to add a lot of value to the data. I'm very excited about this being a collaboration amongst several universities. We've been planning this project and how we will work together for several years now. And it's very gratifying to see this interdisciplinary team come together. Even though we're from different disciplines, we can talk to and understand each other, and that's what will make this collaboration work. The niche that we're trying to fill is the long tail of scientific research. By that, we mean small, single investigator projects or data from small teams of researchers where data is currently not being archived in a way that will make it available to future generations. This kind of data is small in volume and large in complexity and takes serious effort to manage. Off on its own, there's little likelihood that anyone else will find it or find it usable. But in the aggregate, with citation information and context, this data becomes much more valuable and accessible. We are building SEED hand-in-hand -hand with sustainability scientists who are users of the system. We're building it to serve that community, not building it and then later figuring out how to adapt it to the needs of the community. It's truly domain-driven. In sum, I would say that if you're a scientist with data like this, we want to work with you. I also invite you to browse and view videos from some of the other project personnel on this website to get a more detailed picture of the project.